Hi guys, welcome to the video. So uh, this is on removing a tow bar. So tools for the job. Uh, you do need a long wrench um, to give you enough leverage. So with your 19 mil socket, I've got two extensions on a uh, wrench there, flathead screwdriver, and obviously your eight mil spanner. To me, I normally work on German cars. So uh, I need to get this tow bar off for a matriculation in Spain. Um, we seem to have three bolts each side. These have got a 19mm uh, head on them. So I'll show you underneath. Okay, so we can see um, I've took out the front bolt, which is uh, next to the exhaust. I did manage to uh, push it to the side. There's enough leverage to uh, get to the bolt. Uh, but if not, you've obviously got your bracket, your hanging bracket for exhaust. You can remove that and then it'll give you a little bit more play. Um, so as I say, you've got three bolts each side. Um, I'll show you the other side. Okay, there you go. You can see again, I've took out the first bolt. Uh, I slackened them all off and put some WD-40 on them. Uh, and they seem to come off relatively easy. So uh, now I'm just in the process of removing the electrical connector. You have to uh, unscrew it from this side, but holding the nut just on the rear. Can't quite see that. Let's get some lighting up there. Yeah, you can just about see. So you've got three of those. Um, as I say, hold the nut and then unscrew the screwdriver and you can remove the electrical connector from the tow bar. <coughs> you can see me turning it. So obviously you need to hold at the back with the spanner uh, so the nut doesn't move and then you can undo the screw. I've had one snap so far and the other one's just spinning. Um, so that's why I suggest you do this bit first. Uh, worst case scenario, um, you can always drill it out uh, or angle grind at the back uh, if you can get behind the nut and then just push out the screw. Uh, but it is a nightmare um, because I've usually corroded uh, so it causes problems. Yeah, so there's your little nut. Um, obviously they're, they're back to the plate um, with the excessively long screws and you can see that one looks like it's pretty busted already so that's going to come off easy so it's just going to be the last one to get off um, but once that's off it's pretty easy you've seen the first part of the process um, so it's a case of just tucking the electrics back up um, use a cable tie or something to secure them in place so this was my saviour in the end, I used a little cutting disc and uh, literally just got it behind the screw down and just cut them off. Uh, made life a lot easier, so at least that bit's free now and I can uh, remove the tow bar. So if like me you're doing this on your own, I suggest you uh, use your jack just to support the bar as you're uh, removing the last nut, um, just to save any nasty accidents. So. Be careful and um, keep your face away from the bar. Okay.